the next problem a set of examination marks is normally distributed with a mean of 75 and standard deviation of 5 if the top 5% of the students get grade A and the bottom 25% get grade F what mark is the lowest A and what mark is the highest F let us draw the diagram first If the top 5% of the students get grade A, top 5%, that means this 5% students get grade A, 0 0.05 should be the area. X should be, say, A. X is A here. Bottom 25% get grade F. Bottom 25%. That means this 25% get grade F. So X takes value F here, say. Bottom 25%. Now, this difference is also 0.25 and this difference is 0.45. We can find two respective values of Z score on the basis of these two areas. This will be negative. I think it will be approximately 0.67. Zero, zero. Area nearest to 0 0.450. Okay. Now we know that Z score equals to X minus mean divided by standard deviation that is pi. Say this here X is the highest marks of the students who obtain grade F and here X is the lowest mark out of the students who got grade A. A. Lowest in A and highest in F. Yes. So, 0.67 rather minus 0.67 equals to F minus 75 divided by 5. So, minus 3.35 equals to F minus 75. So, 75 minus 3.35 that is F, therefore F comes to 71.65, is it? And now what is F? It is the highest mark obtained by the student who is topper in the grade F group. So, highest F equals to and now marks are always in integers so we can say that approximately 72 marks are highest F in the same way we can find lowest A what is that here 1.645 equals to A. X takes value A that is lowest A minus mean 75 divided by standard deviation 5 yes what is the multiplication of 1.645 and 5 8.225 8.225 equals to a minus 75 so 75 plus 8.222 equals to a therefore a equals to 
83.222. So, lowest A can be approximately 83 marks. In this case, actually we found the missing values of X out of the formula of Z score. Mm -hmm. 